Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we are going to be comparing two budget PJ short scales. Let's do this. These are two budget PJ short scale bases from two very well known base manufacturers. First, we have the Harley Benton MV4 MSB, the Mustang style base, which we have already reviewed with my burgundy mist slash purple one that I've already modified. However, yes, I purchased a second one to do some more stock comparisons as well as modify for our good friend Dale. And next to the Harley Benton here is the Ibanez Talman TMB30 short scale base. Now these bases have quite a few similarities, but also some very big key differences. Let's talk about those now. First, the similarities. Both of these bases have PJ pickup configurations in roughly the same area. However, the Harley Benton has El Nico Roswell pickups, where the Ibanez has the Dynamics, I believe these are ceramic pickups. So their tone does differ quite a bit, and I found the Ibanez to be quite a bit brighter, but we'll hear that when we play these things side by side. And that is pretty much where the similarities end. <laughs> So these are both short scale bases at I believe 30 inch scale, meaning we have 30 inches between the bridge saddles and the nut here. So they're short scale instruments and they're both strung with these stay in tune, power wound, light, well super light short scale strings, gauges 40 to 95. The Harley Benton is rocking an alder body in this beautiful Daphne blue finish, and we also have a bridge with brass saddles, which the Ibanez does not have. The Ibanez, on the other hand, is actually using a poplar body, and it has a more standard style bridge, though it is actually quite a premium bridge as well. The neck of the Harley Benton is short one fret compared to the Ibanez with 19 frets, and we have a roasted maple neck with a laurel fingerboard that has a white binding all the way around it. We also have a 38 millimeter nut width, and I believe a D-shaped profile. We also have four in line Goto tuners. That's right, these are made in Japan Goto tuners at the headstock of this Harley Benton. The Ibanez also has one additional fret compared to the Harley Benton at 20 frets, and you have a 41 millimeter nut width with a fat profile. This is more akin to like a Stingray or a P-Base. A bit fatter than what you get here with the Harley Benton. You also have a 2x2 two two headstock configuration with this large paddle headstock and four half inch tuners that are quite heavy and cause a bit of neck dive. Where the Harley Benton only has a master volume, so you do not have the ability to switch between pickups, or you do have that ability on the Ibanez. Where the Ibanez lacks electronically is the tone control, specifically the tone pot, which is pretty much an on and off switch. You don't really have any middle ground there. The tone pot on the Harley Benton is superior and you do have a lot more flexibility in that regards. Ergonomically, the Harley Benton is superior as it balances much better with its Goto tuners. The Ibanez does tug on the strap a bit and does want to dive, so there is a big difference ergonomically between these two bases. If you'd like to see more in-depth reviews on either of these two bases, go ahead and check out my full reviews of the Ibanez Talman at TMB30, as well as the Harley Benton MV4 MSB down in the description below. But now, let's get to the playing. You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Okay, before we begin, just a few notes. First, we will be looking at these two bases with both pickups engaged, as we do not have the ability to select pickups on the Harley Benton. So we're gonna have both pickups engaged full on both instruments at all times. One other note is we're gonna look at the tone at 100% and 0%, as the Ibanez control really doesn't have a lot of flexibility and there's not much difference at 50%. So we'll be looking at the extremes of the tone control as well. Now, let's get started. Thank you. 
Next up, let's grab our pick and see how these two basses sound with a pick. And finally, let's put the pick away and give these basses a slap. Okay, that was kind of a short comparison. You know what, let's go ahead and throw some drums behind both of these basses. There we have it, our side-by-side -side tone comparison with two stock short-scale budget basses. 
we have our Harley Benton MV4 MSB in Daphne Blue, as well as our Ibanez Talman TMB 30 in the Vintage White, the Off-White Cream, whatever you want to call it. And both of these bases are pretty neat. The Harley Benton was noticeably noisier than the Ibanez here. However, the Alnico pickups, in my opinion, sounded a bit better and less harsh than the Ibanez, which sounded a bit almost tinny and thin on the high end, and I didn't really enjoy the tone overall. Also, the playing experience, in my opinion, is kind of odd with its dimensions. I feel like it would have benefited from a thinner neck and a smaller tuning machines to negate that neck dive. However, with this instrument, most of the mass feels like it's in the neck, and that neck is pulling down towards the ground, so that is one thing that you definitely have to deal with with the Talman. Now, in regards to which bass is better and sounds better, in my opinion, I think that the Harley Benton wins this one. However, I'm interested to hear your thoughts, so be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about these two bases here. But I wanted to get this video out of the way because this Harley Benton is going to be going under the knife and we are going to be doing some very fun mods with some DiMarzio pickups and then we'll be sending the space over to Dale. So keep an eye out for that mod video coming in the near future, but for today that will do it for our comparison of the Harley Benton MV4 MSB and the Ibanez Talman TMB30. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Harley Benton MV4 MSB and the Ibanez Talman TMB30. Two budget short-scale basses. And as always, until we groove again.